them. Uh, let me give them uh, spectacles out here. And it is good to see y'all. I am glad that you are here today. How many of you are here today? Raise your hand way up high. Oh, yeah. Oh, man, it's good to see you. I am so glad y'all are here. Let's see. Let's see if I can. Let's see if I can figure out who is here. Woo! There's Freddie and there's uh, is that Ethan and Christian and Josh and Rehan and Ramy and John. Oh, there's Libby and Roshan and is that hey Caleb? There's Caleb and there is. Tilly, oh wow, man, it's good to see y'all, I am glad that y'all are here, and it's good to see you, I got some books here, I got a place called Kindergarten, and I got a, a Blaze, the Rootin' Tootin' Racetrack, who is this guy again, this is, uh, this is, uh, Mox Blaze and the Monster Machines. And then I've got this one here. Peppa Pig. We've got, we've got Peppa Pig here. And Peppa's got a vegetable garden. Are, are any of y'all making a garden at home? You know, when I was a little kid, my mom and dad and even my grandmother and my grandparents made a garden. And we used to have a garden. And one of the things we'd have to do is at night. We'd have to sit around and snap beans. I can remember snapping beans till I didn't want to see any beans anymore. But Peppa's going to plant a garden. And this is a great time of year to plant a garden. But before we do, let's, let's talk about a place called kindergarten. How many of y'all know what kindergarten is? I went to kindergarten when I was five years old. I went to kindergarten when I was five years old, and I lived in Florida, and that was 60 years ago. I know, I know, you think, ah, oh, he ain't that old. Yeah, he is, he is, really. But anyway, let's talk about a place called a kindergarten. Here we have a farm, and this lady who is about to tell us all about kindergarten, she's going to tell us what the farm animals are thinking about. And what's going on on the farm? The animals in the barn were happy. The sun was rising over the oak tree, and it was time for Tommy, the boy, to come down from the big house. Tommy lived up there, and he's about to come down. It's getting early in the morning, and Tommy's about to come down to the uh, to the barn. I, get, I bet he had chores. Any of y'all have chores? Sometimes we have chores we have to do, like mop the floor, wash the dishes, put your clothes up, make your bed, pick them socks up. Y'all know what I'm talking about, don't you? Well, old Tommy's gonna go down to the barn. He came every day. He'd bring the horse an apple and rub his dappled nose. He'd feed the sheep a biscuit and scratch their her woolly back. He'd feed a apple to the horse, and he'd scratch the sheep's back. He'd give the hen some corn and watch her sort and peck at the kernels. He'd always have a fistful of dandelions for the cow, which she considered a delicacy. And she would, he would go down there, and them animals just loved it when he come down there. They just loved it. They looked forward to the day, every day, when he would come down there. And the sun would come up, and here he'd come, bringing all those delicacies and all those things that those animals liked. And they looked forward to it every day. Sometimes Tommy would sing to them a song about working on the railroad, and he'd throw his ball. You know, when I was a little bitty boy, my grandfather worked on the railroad, and he used to sing railroad songs to me, and I would ride with him in his old pickup truck, and, uh, and we'd ride down the road, and he would sing songs about train songs. He'd sing Casey Jones. Listen, you rounders, if you want to hear a story about a brave engineer. Casey Jones was the rounder's name, and a six-eight-wheeler where he won his fame. 
I will spare you of the rest of that. But he used to sing to me. And do you know what? I sing to Caleb sometimes, and Caleb sings to me sometimes. Sometimes Tommy would sing to them. He'd sing a song about working on the railroad. I've been working on the railroad all the live long day. Y'all ever heard that song? I've heard that song a lot. I've been working on the railroad. He'd sing a song about working on the railroad, or, or he'd throw his ball against the wall over and over, which they found soothing. They just loved to watch him playing in the barn. He always talked to them like humans, which made them feel very, very important. On this particular day, however, Tommy did not appear at the usual time. Now, there seems to be some changes going on on the farm here, and Tommy did not show up like he was supposed to show up. He'd been coming for weeks and months, and now Tommy is no longer there. Why, the animals, they got, the, they got concerned. They said, where's Tommy? Where could he be? Asked the horse. I can't imagine, said the sheep. He always comes, whines the hen. Where on earth is he? Wondered the cow. They all looking out the window. Now, if you'd have been there and you'd have been listening, it would have probably sounded like, anyway, that's animal talk for where is he? I can't imagine. He always comes. Where on earth is he? Just about then, the dog wandered by. Now, look at here. The dog just happened to be out wandering around, and the dog wandered by. The barn animals didn't like the dog too much because he stole their food and barked an awful lot, but he knew what was going on at the big house. So they were willing to put up with him just so they could get some information about what was going on at the big house. Where's Tommy? Well, that dog began to talk. Hey! Where's Tommy today, the cow asked the dog. He usually comes when the sun rises over the oak tree. He's gone. Gone, exclaimed the sheep. Yep, gone in the big yellow bus. In a big yellow bus? Yep. He went in the big yellow bus. Well, where'd he go? Well, I heard him talking, the dog said, and he went to a place called kindergarten. Kindergarten? What's kindergarten? Said the barn animals almost at once. Search me, the dog scratched an ear and Loped off to see the garbage can, see if it was tippy enough for him to knock it over and get a snack. While the dog came and said, he's gone to kindergarten, and now the dog is leaving. Well, that just made more questions for the animals. They're thinking they're going, what in the world is a kindergarten? What is a kindergarten? Where is kindergarten? What does a kindergarten look like? What will happen to Tommy at the kindergarten? Will he ever come back? And if you'd have been there, and you'd have heard it, and you'd have heard them talking, it would have sounded like, that's what it would have sounded like to the animals if you'd been there. But the animals knew what it was, but we as humans, we cannot know what it is, but we just trust that that's what the animals, trust me on this one, okay? All right, so anyway... The sun had risen way past the oak tree and even past the barn, and still Tommy did not come. The animals were quiet, pretending to be calm. The horse, who was the tallest, peeked out of the window every two or three minutes. The cow patrolled the door. The sheep listened for boy-sized footprints, and the hen paced in circles. You know, sometimes things change, and you just have to be ready for things to change. You're going to grow up one of these days. You're going to leave this class and go to the next class, and you might have to move one day, and things change. And you just have to do the best you can and trust that everything is going to work out. Well, these animals was worried about old Tommy. He hadn't been, you know, he'd, he'd always been here. He hadn't been gone like this before, and they was worried about him. Finally, when the sun was dropping toward the distant cornfield, they heard him, Halloo! I'm home! Yeah! Bellowed the horse, and all the animals laughed and, and truly jumped for joy. 
Then the hen, she even flew a little bit while they're all happy. Tommy's back. Tommy's back from kindergarten. <coughs> In the barn walked Tommy with the biggest smile he ever had. His once yellow t-shirt looked like somebody had thrown a rainbow at it. Splat! <coughs> I've been to kindergarten, he announced, and I learned a lot. The animal stood uh, polite and smiling atten at attention as Tommy explained. He's telling them all about kindergarten. Listen to this. A is for apple. That's for you. And he handed the horse an apple and rubbed his nose like always. The horse smiled as much as a horse can smile when there's an apple in his mouth. B is for biscuit. That's for you. He gave the sheep a biscuit and scratched her curly wool till her eyes shut from the pleasure of it. C is for corn, said Tommy. He sprinkled the kernels at the feet of the hen, if you can call them feet, who happily danced and cackled and pecked and ate the corn. And D is for dandelions. He presented the cow with an extra big handful. She was delighted. Ah, they were so glad that Tommy had come back and started back with them just like he had before. It's almost like he never left. They were so happy. I learned all those letters today, and there's a lot more to come. Tomorrow, we start on E, and then F, and then G, and then H. H is for horse, by the way, and I finger-painted the picture of worms, and we planted seeds, and Miss Miller taught us about the world turning. Hey, I learned a new song today. Want to hear it? Without waiting for a response from the animals, uh, he went on and began to sing happily, and then Tommy began, and he sang, When Mother Nature paints the sky, she puts a rainbow in it. When she adds a small white cloud, and it only takes a minute. And everybody was happy. Tommy sang his new song as many times as he threw the ball against the wall. And if you'd have been there, why, well, you'd have heard all these animals as they're happily going, cluck, 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 bah, bah, mur, mur, nay, nay, nay. They're happy animals because Tommy has come back from kindergarten. And they really knew that everything was going to be all right. And then it started getting dark. And when it was getting dark, Tommy was called to the big house for supper. He yelled extra loud, Good night! To the animals and threw the ball in the air as high as it would go before he caught it and charged out toward the house. For a long while, his song drifted down the hill to the barn. All the animals who had missed him all day long and then seen him and now it's night time and he's gone home to go to bed. The animals settled in. The horse nibbled hay thoughtfully. The cow slurped some water and lay down to sleep. The hen plopped clo cozily onto her nest. The sheep was not sleepy. What do you suppose comes after H? She asked. He'll tell us tomorrow, said the horse, after he goes to kindergarten. And he went to kindergarten, <coughs> and he learned his A, B, C. Now, I love saying my A, B, C. Sometimes I'm just driving down the road in my car, and I just say A, B, C, and I like saying my A, B, C. Do y'all like saying A, B, C? Do y'all want to say the A, B, C's? Let's say the A, B, C's together. We love the A, B, C's, and let's sing it. We're going to... We're going to do Peppa's Garden next week since we done killed enough time with Tommy and his ABCs in the barn and the big house and the horse and the cow and the pig and the animals and the chickens. And there wasn't no pig in the story, but follow with me if you would. Let's do the ABCs. You want to? Ready? Let's go. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. Q, 
Q-R-S-T-U-V W-X-Y and Z uh, That's all of them now. Uh, now I've learned my ABCs Tell me what you think of me or something like that. Anyway, you can make up, make up whatever you want to make to end it up there. But I, you know, <coughs> you know, you can take those ABCs and you can say and make anything in the world, everything in the world made up from ABCs. All you got to do is just rearrange them. Just rearrange them and put them in there. And then and it makes whatever you want. So if you learn your ABCs while the world's wide open to you, and you learn your ABC, and then you can get on a computer and make stuff and use your brain. It's going to be great. I can't wait to hear what y'all are going to do. Well, listen, I'm going to go, and we're going to stop, and I'll uh, I'll do another video next week. But it's been good to be with you. I'm I'm glad to I'm glad to get to be here. You know, I used to <clears throat> I used to work with kids all the time. I had a had a bunch of kids that come in. And I'd have them every week. And we'd cut up. And we'd, I'd have classes with them, and we'd sing. We'd sing stuff. I, On a hill far away stood a beat up Chevrolet, and the fenders were touching the ground. I opened the door and I fell right through the floor as the roof came a tumbling down. I pulled on the choke and the steering wheel broke. All I could see was smoke, smoke, smoke. Then down came the Lord and gave me a Ford, and he took that old Chevy away. And he took that old Chevy away. <laughs> hey, it's good to be with you guys. I love you, and I will see you next week. Have a great weekend. Goodbye. <laughs>